This one we're going to divide 4AB cubed minus 16A squared B squared minus 22A cubed B by negative 2A. And by now we've seen a lot of these where like you're dividing the whole thing by negative 2A, which means let's divide each individual term by negative 2A. And so that's the first step. And the other tip I have for anybody and anyone that's stuck is to go 4A and, um, well, I would expand the Bs, but there's no Bs to cross cancel down here. So I'm just gonna leave that B cubed. Huh. Didn't have to do anything there over negative 2A. Um, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, it's kind of silly. I was just gonna expand the A's here just to make it easier to cross cancel. So like A, A, this is A's in the top and the bottom. So it's one way of doing it. Of course, I don't mind actually how anyone does it as long as you get it right and it's neat and I can actually read it. There's, there's lots of ways of going about this stuff. Um, but anyway, here's the suggestion anyway, just at least expand the A's on top if you can, so that we can do some nice clean cross canceling and just write. Most students probably need to write a little bit neater uh, or uh, let's put it this way. It's good with algebra to write neatly and to take your time and try, don't try to do mental gymnastics and try to show your work and you'll make less mistakes and, and do better on the test and stuff. All righty. So let's see, cross canceling. We've got two into two goes once, two into four goes twice, right? And the A's cross cancel. And here we got positive over negative. So a negative, and that's two B cubed all over one. So that's just two B cubed. And then here we have negative this guy over negative. So that should be plus. And then cross canceling. Yep. Good job. So two to two goes once, two to 16, eight. And the A's cross cancel. So I'm getting eight times one times A times B squared. So all over one, so that's like eight A B squared. And then I've got a negative over negative. So we'll just like to say, when you guys, and for anyone watching at home, just like the trick with this is take your time, write it out, no rush. Negative over negative plus, and two into two goes once, two into 22, 11 times. A to A goes once here and here. So I've got 11 times A times A times B all over one. So 11 A squared. That makes sense? Yeah, that's the exact answer I thought. Lovely. And like I said, I don't have any like terms because the B cubed, this is an AB squared, this is A squared B. And like AB squared is not the same thing as A squared B. So like if you had, if A was five, that would be five. And if B was three, that would be five times three squared. And if A was five and B was three, that'd be five squared times B or times uh, three. So what I'm trying to say is if like, like if B was three, if B was three and like if A was five, if A was five, if A was five, these would be different things. So this is like five times nine, 45. And this is like 25 times three, 75. So, so like a b squared is not the same thing as a squared b. Oops, there we go. 